IMRI stands for Interoperative MRI, and what it is is it's, it's a hybrid operating room where part of the room is a conventional operating room, and the other half of the room is a uh, magnetic resonance imaging machine. So uh, combining the two together allows a surgeon to do a standard surgical procedure, such as a brain tumor operation, in one half of the room, and then during the procedure to move the patient over into the magnet to get a picture or a radiographic image uh, during that procedure to get some radiographic feedback as to the results uh, of the surgery that they're trying to uh, accomplish. We're able to uh, interrogate one part of the brain and look at how the white matter connects one part of the brain to the others. And the complexity of that interaction is immense. And being able to understand that on a, on a structural level in the living patient while the surgery is being performed is something that is, is really new and exciting. From a neurosurgical perspective, it allows us to, to take pictures of the brain uh, while we're operating either on brain tumors or pituitary tumors. Uh, potential other advantages would be uh, utilizing it for um, spine tumors and degenerative spine pathology. Um, also, uh, you can work in the MRI room itself and put uh, deep brain stimulator electrodes into the brain tissue based on anatomic and radiographic uh, um, trajectories uh, to place the markers while the patient's under a general anesthetic. The benefits to the patient are enormous. Uh, first and foremost, it allows us to obtain a maximum tumor resection. So uh, classically, if we were in a conventional operating room, we would take out as much of the tumor as we thought was safe. Uh, you want to balance that between taking out enough of the tumor and getting control of the tumor versus not destroying or damaging the surrounding normal brain tissue. With intraoperative MRI, you're allowed to take pictures uh, and enabled to take pictures during that surgical procedure. So you get that radiographic feedback during the operation. Uh, and then you can make decisions based on that. You can say, there's a residual tumor in there. I want to go back after it and go after it in the same setting. Or you can say, no, I've obtained my results. I got everything. It looks good. I'm happy with the way things look. And you can close the case up. You can do all of that during one surgical procedure without having to take the patient from the operating room to the recovery room to the ICU and into an MRI machine and then back to an operating room a couple of days later after that MRI was obtained. It's all done in one bundled package.